In example 1.17e, we're going to see a combination of all of the issues that we've seen in the other parts of this example. The two issues that we've dealt with are number one, the denominator potentially being equal to zero, and number two, the expression underneath the radical needs to be greater than or equal to zero. So we have both of these issues here at the exact same time and it's all located here in the denominator. So we can combine these two issues together rather than having to look at them separately and have to do two different algebraic uh, calculations. We can just do one. And we can do this by taking the expression underneath the radical, which is the t plus one, and we can just have it be greater than zero. Do not include the equal to. And that will automatically take care of the, uh, the first issue of the denominator not wanting to be equal to zero. So now when you solve this, you'll get t is greater than negative one. And going back to the number line, I want an open boundary at negative one. And according to this inequality, I want all the values that are greater than negative one. So that's gonna be everything to the right of negative one. So I can write the domain of H as being equal to uh, parenthesis negative one to infinity. And again, we'll use this to now define the function itself. H is a map from the domain to the set of real numbers. given by h of t is equal to t divided by the square root of t plus one. And that completes our function definition. I will make one other note. Over here, when we're working on coming up with the domain that goes with this equation, um, if you feel comfortable going from the inequality directly to the interval notation, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I, I continue to show the diagram of the real number line because that's part of what we did here in section one. But again, if you feel comfortable skipping that step, then that would be perfectly acceptable.